All right, hey everybody, it's Atlas again. I'm here with uh, my Thavis Aquaforce deck profile. Richard and Gabe are showing each other memes back and forth, so uh, I should probably. So what's this. different? What's <laughs> different? There's nothing different. It's just you guys get pissy if I take too long. So, um, so starting off, we have uh, Kelpie Rider Mitros this is our starter. Um, it is GB1 wave third time or more when your Vanguard. Uh, I think it's with Thavis. Grade three or Vanguard with uh, Thavis attacks. You can put him in Soul. If you do search your deck for a, uh, a great three with Thavis, call it to rear, and at the end of the turn, return that unit to your hand. So, um, what, that allows, what this allows you to do is on your first stride turn, you can search for a Thavis, and then uh, you can either have an insured stride fodder for next turn, um, or a correct ride if you are on Skiros and you want to do Lambros or whatever. Um, and then on top of that, this thing gets you an extra attack. So you can boost with it, put it away, get a new Thavis, attack for 11. It's a good starter. I didn't really like the uh, the one where you shove in Soul Stand, Summon, give it plus two thing, because it uh, took up Counter Blast, and I already have a problem with Counter Blast anyway. So. Uh, for grade threes, we have four, one who surpasses the Storm Thavis. So uh, his GB2 is when he attacks. If it's uh, fourth battle or more, he gets a crit, and your opponent can't guard with grade zero, so that's all right. Um, the other skill is when you stride on top of him, uh, the Vanguard gets the skill when, uh, a fourth, when the fourth battle occurs on your turn, you choose three of your opponent's rear guards. Your opponent chooses one of those of the three you chose and retires it. Um, so what this allows you to do is, uh, you get a control aspect with your Aqua Force, which is nice. Um, also there's no counter blast for the skill, which is, I think, one of the few stride skills of, like, the original, you know, break stride dudes, uh, that has no counter blast. So it's free and it's good. So, yeah. Plus, there's a lot of stuff that focuses on the name. Uh, the other grade three is uh, Jockey of the Great Sea, Styrus, Styrus, whatever. Um, so his skill is when you ride him, you pick a unit and it gets red text uh, on the third battle or more when it attacks a vanguard. You check top five for a grade three, add it to hand. Um, so you can do this to himself or to something else. Uh, and then his other skill, the more important one, is GB1, your front row gets resist. Which is awesome, because this means that Aquaforce now has, like, a com combat counter check to, uh, Lynch Joker, to Cardero. The problem is it doesn't work when you're, you know, when you have a stride on top of him, so Denial Griffin can still get you, but it's still really good to just give your front row resist and not have to worry about, you know, Big Crunch or whatever. Um, and then also the check top five for the free thing doesn't hurt either. Um, if you rode him and you're the first one to get to grade three, you can just get a free stride fighter for next turn, or it's a free plus. It's just a good card. Um, let's see, grade twos, we have four copies of Tidal Assaults. So, uh, came out in BT-13, still a staple. So when, uh, he attacks Vanguard, uh, afterwards he restands and then gets pl uh, power minus five and you, you, it's only once per turn. Um, so this allows you to get more attacks out of one unit. Um, if you stack traders on this, that means he's gonna attack for, like if he has a crit on attack, restand, you know. It's it's a really good card and I'm sure it's gonna be a staple for a long time to come. Aqua Force needs some crazy stuff for this to be not in the deck anymore. Um, Another thing you can do is because the skill doesn't proc when it attacks rear guards, you can attack a rear guard, restand with Lambros or something else, and then you attack Vanguard, and then he restands, and then attacks again. So he, he, you can get a lot of mileage out of him. I just don't do the full combos. Is that not a full combo? I mean, I don't, like, fan everything out, whatever. All right. Four copies of Battle Siren Adelaide. Um, so she's the Glimmer Breath clone for Thavis. Which and the worst Adelaide in the game. Oh, screw you. So uh, when, you know, GB1, when played, you Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, she gets plus 2k and then red text. Uh, after she attacks a Vanguard, she restands. So uh, again, this allows you to get more attacks out of just one unit. Um, I tend to like this over the Amber clone just because she works by herself. Uh, it's also good to call her in back and then you can use it with uh, Commander Thavis. So, you know. It's just a good card. Um, yeah, <laughs> the how to build Thavis because I said so. Um, let's see, two copies of Magnum Assault, which I was just talking about. Uh, at the end of the battle, if he attacks a Vanguard, you counter blast, restands, and he gets plus two. So this is still good. Um, the problem is because like Aqua Force is very, uh, I guess, desperate. You could call it, or you just kind of throw your hand down and try and you know get some stuff going. Because he requires a booster to him, it's. Uh, he has a little less utility than Adelaide would, or Tidal Assault. So, 
I still like him. Um, I'm sure he's going to get power creeped out as time goes on, but he's all right for now. Uh, one copy of Saberflow Sailor. So this is a personal tech of mine. She's a 8K GB1. Uh, at the end of the battle, she attacked a Vanguard. Um, if it's the fourth battle or more, you can kill her off and draw two cards. So uh, an 8, 8K is usually a terrible number, but there are two cards in the deck that allow you to get her to 11K. Um, which means she's hitting numbers, and then if you put her in the back row with Commander Thavis or whatever, um, she's a raw plus, and then if, if she's also good against control, so you can, like, put her up here, then kill her off, and then your front row's empty, or back row's empty, or whatever. So I like her as a one-of. Um, I wouldn't re if you don't like that, you can just put another Magnum Assault. Actually, the Magnum Assault spot is very, uh, flexible. You can just kind of do whatever you want. That's the fun. Um, grade ones, we have... For Ocean Keeper Play-Doh. So he is the perf uh, unflipper PG. We have a lot of problems with Counter Blast in this deck, so you kind of have to uh, run him. Um, on top of that, yes, it would be nice to protect rear guards, but honestly, the unflips are more important, especially if you get your draw engine going, you can just replace stuff. <clears throat> Four copies of Kelpie Rider Nikki. So this is the Stride Fodder. Uh, Thavis is your main vanguard. This is a stride deck. It speaks for itself. Um, three copies of Battle Siren Melania. She is currently the first lady of the United States. That's sad. Um, GB1, third time or more, when she attacks vanguard, uh, if you can counterblast, and then she gets plus 5k to land a battle, and you draw a card. So, this is really cool, and then also it has resist. So you can put this in front, and, you know, your opponent can't, like, denial griffin it or whatever. And then you can put it in back, and if you have Spiros in the front, that's a resist column, so they can't big crunch you or uh, root flare you, if that's still a thing. Um, the important part is it allows you to get a draw. So that's really good. Um, and then also she's, like, the perfect target for Commander Thavis' back row attacking. So I like her a lot. Um, one copy of Dispatch Mission Seagull Soldier. So this dude is when he's placed on rear guard, you can soul blast one, choose a uh, unit, and give it plus 3k. So this allows you to clear out your soul so you can like put PGs and drop or whatever. Um, honestly, we don't use soul that much, so it's not a big deal. And then the other still is wave fourth time or more GB1. Uh, at the end of the battle that he boosted, you mouse him with your hand. So gets around control. Uh, it's also one of the things that can like fix numbers, like make title assault at 12k so he can hit Vanguard, then restand, then boost with him. Or boost him, or you know, make Saber, Saber Flow an 11k. I like him. Uh, let's see. Two copies of Battle Siren Stacia. So GB1, uh, she gets the red text ability. She, uh, she can attack from back row, and then when she attacks from back row, she gets plus 3k. So again, this allows you to get more attacks out of less units because you don't have to, you'll, you don't have just the front row, you have back now. So this is a rear guard killer. Um, another cool thing you can do is a combo with Lambros where if you boost with her, and then use Lambros' still to re-standard and give her plus 10k during the thing. Your Vanguard keeps the plus 10k, and then she's still a 19k attack by herself, so pretty good. Um, if you want to mess around with the ratio, you can always like drop Melania to 2 and put her up to 3. You can also do the same with Seagull Soldier, where you put Seagull up to 2. There's, there's a lot of flexibility in the deck. Um, triggers, we have 6 crits, which are Supersonic Sailor and Kelpie Rider Petros. So, Supersonic Sailor shoves in soul and flips the damage, like I said, we have a Counter Blast problem, so this is good. And then this is the Heart Thumb clone for Thavis, so this allows early aggression, late aggression, it's, it's a good card. Um, I've done four, or four and two in either direction, and honestly I can't really pick, so I did three and three. Now, uh, this is probably a little weird, but, uh, one Dolphin Soldier of the Leaping Windy Seas. Yay! So GB1, first or second time when he attacks, if you have a Thavis Vanguard, you can Soul Blast 1, he gets plus 7k, so he's an 11k by himself. Then afterward, you draw a card, put him on bottom of deck. So what I like about this is it kind of reminds me of Devil Watch from Spike Brothers. High proof! Uh, Devil Watch is more there to be a card that's like good for attacking and less to be a stand trigger. Um, this is still good in Aqua Force because if you get it, a lot of things are rested. You can stand them. Usually your Vanguard goes either in the middle or last. So he's still a good card. Um, I've considered, uh, you know, 
bringing down the draw ratio, bringing down the crit ratio, but I, I honestly can't decide. I'd rather have him just as a one of, so that if you draw him sweet, I can turn a trigger into a draw, put it back, and then you're often gonna shuffle anyway. Um, and then on top of it, like I said, if he's jam if you drive check him, he's awesome. Uh, then we have four copies of Battle Siren Malika. Um, so I, I do have the new one because she's got left shark, which is cool. So she's Mardol clone, shove and soul, give something plus three. So that, uh, like I said, with uh, Saber Flow Sailor and all that stuff, she's just a good card. Um, I also run an additional draw trader. Um, I, t you know, Aqua Force has a bit of a hand problem because every card you're calling is from hand except for the, you know, Thavis thing. So it's very important to get the cards you need. Uh, often, uh, oftentimes I find myself drawing into draw triggers with draw triggers, but that doesn't mean that it should stop you from, you know, running a good amount of them. Uh, if you're uncomfortable with five, you can drop it to four and either, you know, up your dolphin count or uh, put another of the crits in there. So, um, yeah. And then four heals, which is the, you know, whichever one you can find. I like this one because she's got the colorful orbs. And she's nice looking, I guess. Um, let's see. Now for the G zone. So, four copies of Storm Dominator, Commander Thavis. So, this is arguably the most important stride in the deck. Um, his skill is uh, Axe. You flip up a copy of him. I can't believe this thing used to be GR. And then you uh, pick a rear guard, and it gets the ability, it gets plus 5k and, uh, you know, the skill, the ability to attack from back row. So again, this can extend your rear guards into more attacks. And then also, he gets GB3, uh, when fourth battle is conducted, you pick three, it's a, pick three rear guards and your opponent kills one. It's like a, it's a redundant version of the stride skill. So if you, he's a really good first stride, because you, you know, you get some attacks off, but if you G guard and then do him as your first stride, uh, you get to kill two units for the price of one, and that's just by attacking. So, he's really, really good. Uh, now that he's been reprinted, go get him, because, uh, this thing is very important. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let's do one copy of Marine General of, Heaven of Heavenly Silk, Aristotle. So, uh, wave thir uh, third time when he attacks, you counterblast one, uh, choose an opponent's rear guard and retire it. So this is if uh, your opponent has a really troublesome back row and they have multiple rear guards, so you can't just go pick three and they're like, I'm gonna pick the draw trigger. You, if you need to kill something important, this is what he's for. Um, also, if you can't really get uh, that big of an offense, you know, maybe Commander Thavis isn't you know fitting, then he's, he's good. Um, Let's see, four copies of Marine General of Heavenly Silk Lambros. I couldn't wait for the reprint, guys. I just couldn't wait. So uh, when he attacks, you flip up a copy of him, choose two of your rear guards and stand them, and then, or at, four, at fourth battle or more, sorry, and then at, after you flip, if you have two or more in G-Zone, the stood units get plus 10k. So you can also do this for first stride uh, and get two more attacks out of your field, or you can try and go for the finish because now these things are huge. Uh, with Magnum Assault, Adelaide, Tidal Assault, Stacia, those are all good targets to restand. Um, or if you called uh, called grade threes to attack with. So it's it's a really good stride, and thank God it's getting reprinted. <laughs> Alright, two copies of Storm of Lament, Wailing Thavis. One of them's SGR, hooray. Um, so his skill is uh, GB3. When he attacks for each battle that was conducted during this turn, your opponent chooses a rear guard and retires it, and then GB2 wave third time or more. When he attacks Vanguard, you counterblast, and then for every battle that was conducted, he gets plus 5k and your opponent can't guard with grade once. So, uh, what this means is Van uh, Aqua Force now has a comeback mechanic with this, where, oh, my opponent's got a full field and I only have three cards. Screw it, call everything. Attack, attack, attack with Vanguard, kill two things, or you know, if it was Tidal Assault, kill three things and then plus 15k, and it's it's a really good card. Um, and then if you're ahead, you can just go, all right, I'm gonna wipe what's left of your field and, you know, glory still. Um, I make a habit of when I stride with him, you gotta put up the metal horns and go, yeah! Because he's Wailing Thavis and my friends hate me for it. We hate you for a lot more than that. Thank you, all right, so, um, uh, he is fairly expensive. Um, if you are playing a more budget version, you can always cut one and, put in another Aristotle or something like that. The good thing is the deck is becoming rap rapidly more affordable, what with uh, Lambros getting reprinted in Commander Thavis too. Um, 
I just managed to get these because my friend uh, my friend Matt is a sweetheart and I got lucky. So <clears throat> uh, now for the G guard or uh, Sea Breeze because this is a G deck and blah de blah Sea Breeze. Um, now for the G guards we have uh, Guard Leader of Sky and Water Flotilla. So uh, on wave first or second time when you're when you know she, you G guard with her she gets plus five K shield. This is from the Fires Collection. It's really terrible because it only works on first or second battle. So you see, as Boucherud sees this and they go, huh, maybe we should do one for other waves. So they do Blue Strat Storm Dragon to Turn Strat and Air uh, Ice Barrier, which is first, okay, or fourth. Yeah, what about third? Yeah, there's no one for third. Crap. So uh, if he guards on first or fourth or more, he gets uh, plus 10k shield. So this is pretty easy to pull off because a lot of times, like a lot of decks use multi-attack. So once they start hitting four, five, six attacks, it gets pretty big. So he's really good. Um, I really hope that the last G guard that Aquaforce gets is like wave third time gets plus 15k shield. That'd be kind of nice. Um, honestly, I have a problem where like I kind of want to put this to two. I kind of want to put this to two, but there's no no real reason to. Um, they're both like Aquaforce got kind of shafted in the G guard department, so you got to make do. Uh, the last two are two Dark Element Dismals because uh, rear guards are important and you have to protect them. Uh, if you can only afford one Dismal, because apparently they're expensive, you can up your uh, Ice Barrier Dragon or your Flotilla account by one. Uh, just do whatever suits your local meta. So that was the deck profile. I, I also have a Blue Wave deck that I can do if you guys want to see it. If not, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.